After a rather impressive rally, Earl posted moderate losses as part of a logical rebound, which was inevitable after such a significant movement in one direction or another. However, oil prices are still trading above $110 per barrel, which is considered quite a high level. Now let's consider the situation in more detail. A decline in the oil prices is limited by uncertainty around a possible European Union ban on Russian energy supplies. European policymakers are still working on a six package of sanctions, which contributes to higher quotes. So, if this issue is not addressed today, oil will most likely resume its bullish run. From a technical point of view, Brand crude oil futures pulled back from the $115 per barrel mark and settled below $110. This indicates a strong selling pressure near the control level. Currently, the benchmark is a trading within a sideways range limited by the levels of $100 and $115. Thus, its cyclical pattern is still valid in the market. And the situation may change only after the price breaks through one or another bound of the channel on the daily chart. Having dropped to almost $1,800 per 3 ounce, gold started moving sideways. Moreover, the metal has not been able to break out of this range for a week now. There are no driving factors that could move the market, which indicates confusion among traders. At the same time, stagnation may trigger a further acceleration in the market. Thus, it's worth focusing on the signal levels of 1800 and 1825 when considering the bearish scenario and going long respectively. In fact, the situation in the energy market depends on a potential embargo on the Russian oil and gas. If European Union member states move ahead with a ban on imports from Russia, the global energy market could face a global restructuring. This, in turn, will result in a shortages of oil and gas. Both commodities are classified as strategic, and after all, the modern economy cannot uh, function without them. So, the very likelihood of a, such a situation reduces the attractiveness of a safe haven assets, including gold. Thus, having tumbled to the psychological level, gold stood still in anticipation of the European Union's decision on a sixth package of sanctions. This is the only fact that can move the market now. Likewise, the Russian currency has been hovering in the range of 62.50 and 65.00 rubles per dollar for a week now. Moreover, its a driving factor are exactly the same as in the case of gold. However, the ruble is highly overbought and needs a correction. Given its um, exquisite uh, overbought status, it can be assumed that the ruble will suffer losses as soon as Brussels announces its restrictive measures, regardless of whether a ban on Russian energy supplies is introduced a note. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.